So that's we about how how long away? Uh, we're about like 20 minutes from. Uh, we're gonna go eat some dim sum. If okay. You don't mind. Sounds good. All right. Dim sum is always good. Hey, actually, you know, uh, Dan, uh, I got a question mm. that I read on your YouTube channel. It says, um, you know, can you do a video on the best books you've read by Jack? <laughs> Well, Jack, that's the fucking problem, right? What what books? People ask me all the time, like, what books do you recommend, or or what are your top? First of all, the the question, what books do you recommend? How the fuck do I know? I don't know about your situation. I don't know your background. I don't know your circumstances. How the fuck would I know? It's like you're asking a doctor, what drugs should I take? What medicine should I take? How the fuck do I know? Like, how would I know I can read your mind like through a video? That's a stupid question, Jack. That's actually a stupid question. Or oh, another question I get from people all the time is, you know, what what are the top top ten books that change your life? That you that you would your favorite books. The p the reason people ask that question, it shows me it's a form of mental laziness, because there's no such thing as best books. Here's the how about here's a here's a new philosophy. The books that you don't read don't help you. The books that you don't read do not help you. So what books I'm reading now has absolutely nothing to do with what books you should read. The problem is you don't even fucking know what books you should read. You you don't have you don't think deeply enough of what skill sets do I need to learn that I need to develop. So I need to go learn those books. Maybe you are selling and you you want to improve your closing skill. Read a fucking sales book. You're negotiating with a vendor. Read a negotiation book. You are hiring a couple new people. Guess what? Read a leadership book. So what you read changes. What I read ten years ago compared to what I read today changes. The stuff I read today, it's it's you know investment and and team building and leadership and culture. Maybe you're not quite there yet. You're still trying to make your first hundred k. If I give you that book, how does that serve you? It doesn't serve you at all. It just creates more confusion. You notice that's also why people they read so many different books and they are contradict ideas within the book and they get fucking confused because they don't know how to think independently. You want to be rich. You want to be successful. You learn how to fucking think. It's called think and grow rich, not meditate and grow rich, not hope to get grow rich, not even read and grow rich. It's think. And grow rich. Business it is an intellectual sport. The smart people would win. You have to know. So don't don't listen to just me and say, hey, you should read those books. Yeah, there's some books I like. You know, Think and Grow Rich, 80/20 Principle. You the big ones. You read those. That's like a given, right? That's a basic foundation. Right? I've read over 2,000 books, and I'm still reading multiple multiple books every week. What I'm saying is, don't. Ask a lazy question. I know there's a lot of your question or just on YouTube. They're fucking lazy. It's a question that I've already answered. How about type in the search box and just fucking search it? Oh, Dan, how do I manage people? How about type in Dan Lock Management? See what the fuck you find. Watch those videos first. But you don't even want to do that. Do those things. Do those little things first. Be more resourceful. Find those answers. I've done. Does like 20, 30, 50, probably 100 podcast interviews. How many of those have you listened? Listen to those things first. Don't look for me or anybody to give you that. Oh, give me the shortcut. Give me the answer. Nobody can give you the answer. The very definition, the essence of entrepreneurship is you go figure things out and find the answer yourself. Until you develop that muscle. To be resourceful and to find things, not just like so lazy. Oh, here's a video. Let me comment and just get a quick answer from Dan. I don't have time for that. You don't have time for that. Learn to be resourceful. Learn to think independently about these things. Is think and grow rich. Thinking, thinking is the key. Remember, I'll leave you with one quote. Your income can only grow to the extent that you do. And your wealth can only grow as fast as you do. So ponder on that. 
comment below. Don't ask a fucking lazy question. And now, go watch my other videos. Right there. Yes, fucking click on it. Watch more videos before you ask another dumb question like that. And I do believe there is such a thing as dumb question. Ask a more intelligent question. Smart people have great answers. Genius have great questions. Until next time, ask a good question. I'll see you in my family.